Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review and unboxing of the Herbivore Skin in the Clouds set. If you're interested in that, then please keep on watching. So it comes in a cute little box like this. It just says Herbivore Skin in the Clouds set. So it just comes with three of the pink cloud products from Herbivore. Perfect in this cute little mini sample size set so that you can give them a try and take the brand for a test drive before committing to the full-size products, which I absolutely love. So they have here the Pink Cloud Creamy Jelly Cleanser, the Cloud Jelly Plumping Hydration Serum, and the Pink Cloud Soft Moisture Cream. The side just says Skin in the Cloud Set, and the other side says Herbivore. Here's the bottom, the top, you can pause it here to read the entire thing if you wish. So let's go ahead and open these up. So first up we have the Pink Cloud Creamy Jelly Cleanser. Comes in this beautiful glass bottle with a plastic cap that is a pump. The back just says directions, apply one to two pumps to wet skin, rinse with warm water. If cleanser gets into eyes, rinse thoroughly with water for external use only. This one is 50 ml. So it's about this big. The original size is like that big, so it's a pretty cute mini size. However, it's a decent size. It's, it's enough to get a pretty good idea if this is for you or not. So I'm just going to be applying some makeup as a tester to the back of my hand and then using the cleanser to show you how well it takes the makeup off. So I just have here this Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer. I'm just going to quickly put some on to show you. And I'm just using this really inexpensive mini so eyebrow and eyeliner duo pen. Now I'm just using some Revlon lipstick. All right, and let's see how well this makeup removes with the Pink Cloud Jelly Cleanser. So I've just wet my skin, and now I'm going to apply a pump of the Jelly Cleanser. So you can see it melting away all of the makeup. So I've just rinsed and dried my hand off camera, sorry, because I didn't want to put my camera near water. <laughs> but as you can see, it leaves the skin so clean and smooth and it just feels so soft and unbelievably clean and fresh. I have to say, this is a new favorite of mine. I was pleasantly surprised how much I absolutely adore this stuff. So when I bought this set, I was actually the most excited for this product out of all three because for years and years and years, since I was 16 until now, I've been using the Clean and Clear Makeup Remover Wash that's like $6 from Walmart. And I always used to tell people if it ever gets discontinued, I will be so upset because it's my go-to ride or die gentle makeup remover daily wash. I totally jinxed it and I really do feel like they discontinued it because I've been looking everywhere for it for like two months now and I cannot find it anywhere. So I was so happy to find this because it does exactly what that one did and more of course because it's a sephora product and it's like more luxurious than a drugstore product but it removes makeup super easily and it leaves my skin with this gorgeous smooth glow afterward and i don't like anything too heavily scented and it just has the slightest rose water smell it's not too overpowering or floral at all I highly, highly recommend this stuff, and I think I'm actually going to go ahead and get a full size. That's how much I love it. Next up, we have the Cloud Jelly Serum. This one's super cute and tiny. It says, AM slash PM, press two to three drops gently onto your face and neck, avoiding the eye area. If serum gets into the eyes, rinse thoroughly with water. And it's 9.8 ml. 
As you can see, this one is super tiny. It fits into the palm of my hand. It's adorable. I'm very new to serums, actually. Um, I normally just use moisturizer and wash. I don't really use serums. So the consistency just looks like this. And I tried it on my face last night, and honestly, it felt very sticky. I mean, it just tells you to rub it in your hands and pat it, so maybe I'm putting too much on. But either way, it feels very sticky and not smooth the way that some serums tend to feel. Um, and just overall, it's nothing special, to be honest, at least compared to the cleanser, which is like life-changing stuff. This one, it does the trick, I guess. Like, I guess my skin feels smoother having it on rather than not. But it doesn't feel any different than like a serum that you can get for $6 at like Marshalls, to be honest. I probably won't be repurchasing this. And lastly, the Pink Cloud Soft Moisture Cream. I'm always on the hunt for my next perfect moisturizer and I've wanted to try this since like 2016 until now. But what turned me off is actually the smell. In the store, I found the tester ones always to smell really weird. And people online kind of agreed too that it has a weird like clay smell. But having brought it home, I thought, okay, you know what? Maybe it's just because it oxidizes in the store, like the tester one. So maybe when I bring it home and it's brand new and sealed, it won't smell as bad. I'm not gonna lie, it smells just as bad. It really just is this product. I understand that it's very natural and organic, but I don't know. <laughs> it's distractingly bad. Like whether the moisturizer is working really well or not, I find I can't even pay attention to that because I have such a headache from how bad this smells. Honestly, it literally smells like weed. Oh, it just smells awful. Like rotten decaying flowers or like a skunk or something. It smells absolutely rancid. Like it, it genuinely makes me nauseous. And it's a shame because the consistency is decent. I will say it is very hydrating, but it is a little too rich for me as I am oily combo skin. So yeah, overall, I will not be repurchasing this, nor will I be getting the full size. So overall, the Herbivore Skin in the Clouds gift set is a really great chance to give a little test drive to all of these products without committing because they're such small sizes. However, I hate the smell so much that I will most likely be returning this entire set and just going ahead and purchasing the full size of the one product in this set that I actually like, which is this one right here, the cleanser. So that is my honest opinion, you guys. Um, if you disagree with it, that is totally fine. I can see how some people would love the smell or these products. That being said, I just cannot get over how bad this one smells, especially. It's just unusable for me, so. But at the same time, I'm not going to swear off Herbivore because obviously this one is outstanding. It is the cleanser I've been looking for for years. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'd love to know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know if you agree or disagree. And please give this video a like if it was helpful to you. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would truly mean the absolute world to me to have you join my cozy little corner here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching this review and unboxing video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!